Yes, it's more testing, it's more tailor-made, and it's more from out on the course from an average golfer. And to me, that's exactly where testing should be done. And today, I'm going to be looking at the tailor-made Sim Max irons. Yeah, just about got that one out. So, Sim, it's all about shape and motion. How does that apply to the irons? How do each of these sets of irons differ? All those questions and more will be answered in this video. And like I said, out here on the course, Conway Golf Club. Now with any new product release there is always a story, a story which is often maybe a little bit exaggerated. They tell us how good these products are going to be like any marketing story should uh, attempt to do at least. But the question is we'll put those theories to the test but first of all let's just take a quick look at the technology that TaylorMade is saying is packed into these irons and how it's going to help some average golfers out there. Right, so as ever, we've got to talk about how these things look. And for me, it's a very interesting move that uh, Taylor made of, uh, have made here in the sense that from M5, M6, we've clearly sort of skipped the M5. There's no replacement for that. We've got an M6 replacement, which I think is basically the Max product. And then the Max OS, I would say, in terms of its bulk and mass, is similar to what we've seen in the CGB in the past. So it's a different uh, product altogether. So starting off with the Max, I think, again, it sits behind the ball. It's everything you expect it to be. It's that thicker top line. But the back end is fairly hidden until you get into really into the long irons. But in the Max OS, that line does become very sort of noticeable in terms of that top line. And whilst it's OK in the shorter irons, where I have a bit of an issue, and again, it's not going to be a, a deal for everybody, is that you certainly see a lot of the mass behind the ball when you start to get to five iron, six iron, it starts to be visible at the back end. But in terms of shelf appeal, I like the colouring, it's a big change uh, from what we've seen in M5, M6, which I think is important to do. And it will appeal to a lot of golfers in sense of uh, inspire a bit of confidence and to others with game improvement irons as they do in terms of splitting opinion, it might be a little bit bulky for others. <laughs> And like I said, I've played with both sets of irons. I've had uh, four irons from each set, and it's been a great way to test these. And I think there's been, um, I, I want to talk about feel out here on the course, because one of the things you'll see, and they've mentioned in the tech spec, is this sound dampening bar and this, uh, I think it's echo system that they've talked about, which again is all about softening the sound and I think really that's something that they've done really really well in the last couple of years it was definitely appealing in M5 M6 a game improvement iron that had some good uh, sound and ultimately feel and I think they've done that again very well in this sim product in terms of how they differ in terms of performance well let's have a look at some numbers they're very strongly lofted and like I said they're by no means this M5 replacement has gone they both appear in the strong lofted and the stronger lofted uh, section and these really do go out there. I mean, I think I'll put some averages in front of you now. But to be honest with you, if you really went after one of these, particularly the OS, you could give these a fair old wallop. And I think what that allows you to do is a lot of people will criticise them in terms of the strength of loft. 
they've got some good ball flight on them but I certainly don't think you'll be going anywhere more than a five iron in either set because effectively with that kind of loft you've got four iron even three iron potentially in your hands so you're by no means when you're going by the set of clubs if you're looking at these irons then I don't think you need to go any more than a five iron and perhaps you don't even need to go that far either but they certainly perform really well in terms of distance uh, in terms of ball flight they were very good again the kind of like ball flight and launch angles defy the loft on both of these and I think the other interesting point that I want to mention again you can perhaps pick up on some of these shots that uh, you see again I'll just repeat these out on the course I was playing some really strong windy conditions and this idea that you can only flight a ball with a sort of uh, with a blade type iron I'm not really sure that that is the case and certainly there was plenty of playability in these clubs as well so although they've got a great ball flight and they're there to help and assist in terms of high launch I could certainly keep this ball down if I wanted to and it performed really really well I have to say out on the course and in terms of dry ball data. summary I mean I think that they again have produced have quality irons they're both very effective they both do exactly what they're supposed to do if you've got M5 M6 if you've got the M4 M3 then I'm not sure that you're going to really want to replace either of those with these models but they've made small differences and tweaks in last year's model and they are improvements but they're very very minor and I would only talk about sound and feel really as being those improvements you then go to the likes of the uh, the OS model and that's a, an effectively a new product I would think it's more in, a, in line with the kind of like CGB that we've seen from TaylorMade in the past so that much more bulkier more mass style club and if that's what you're looking for then that certainly enters the equation they're priced again in and around that ballpark where you're going to expect them to be for this type of product overall decent iron great performance i did like the sound and feel looks yeah okay nothing that's going to really grab my eye it ain't going to be one that goes in my bag but it's certainly a great iron and a new addition for 2020 but only if you're looking for a replacement to your set of irons that's perhaps two, three, even four years old. Nothing to replace what is currently in the bag if you've got, like I said, that M5, M6 models. Anyway, as ever, thank you for watching. Plenty of videos coming down from here at the moment. If you've not seen the others, then please have a little bit of a mooch round because this whole tailor-made sim range is being reviewed out on a course by the average golfer, and that's what I'm going to continue to do. So, as ever, thanks for watching, and I'll see you soon.